hey beloved welcome or welcome back to my channel i am so glad you found me my name is sally if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber hey hi how have you been it's been a while well it's not been a while it's been a week <laughs> i hope you guys uh have had a fabulous week so glad you came back to the channels to join me on my corner of the interwebs so today let's let's just get right in <laughs> into it yeah these are seven things that christian men should just stop doing just stop okay number one lying well every human homo sapien actually should just stop doing this but here's what i mean by christian men just just stop lying because you don't say what you mean well yeah you don't say what you mean you don't say what you want you don't state what your intention is you say you state your intention without stating your intention and then do the opposite of what your intention is does that make sense yeah because you actually do it here's an example you say which is by the way a lot of the things that i've listed here like are intertwined um but you lie <laughs> about being this person but then they get to know you and then uh, why why because you want to uh, why <laughs> like i can't even justify that to the a reasonable answer like why would you lie i mean so what if you're this kind of person what's the worst that she can say no you move on pick up the pieces you move on life i know there's this innate fear okay i don't call it an innate fear but there's a fear that men have about rejection which is a thing by the way i realized it's a thing and i've been told it's a thing but um lying is worse well it's just me Anyway, stop lying. You, it's unnecessary. You don't need to stop lying. Stop. Stop lying. <laughs> anyway, number two, which is also related, <laughs> living a double life. This is uh, me, my soul, about Adventists on the internet, where Monday to Friday, well, Sunday to Friday, uh, these guys are dressed like hogwash. <laughs> you know like it's just ugh. but then comes sabbath we <laughs> a suit a tie clean shoes fresh cut i'm like um do we just put on and off the skin like it it goes with the lying why are you lying about who you are why are you living a, a, a double life right saying that another thing that Oh, another thing that gets me is you you say you want this type of person, right? Uh let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You say you want the type of woman that you are attracted to or that you want or you, that you want wife. This is in, in the event. Oh, by the way, all this is in the event that um in a relationship, right? Um so you say you want the proverbs that you want woman, which by the way is a whole other video that we yeah, it's, it's a whole other video. You want the proverb uh, you say you want the proverbs that you want woman but in real sense you want Delilah I I I don't get it You want me to act like Delilah I I don't Pick a side choose choose a struggle stop stop living a double life it's it's obvious It's obvious you're living a double life outside there you're a different person in church you're a different person so when this person meets you uh, they don't know who you are stop just stop okay okay number three christian men should stop doing this I christian men do this a lot which is related to the second one comparing your relationship just because Susan had you when you were in grade 3 doesn't mean all females are like Susan please take a chill pill 
<laughs> okay stop comparing your relationships whatever your ex did for you perhaps maybe i can do it better or i do it the same way or i don't know but we're two different people who will do two different things and experience two different uh, ways and you will have a, two different experiences rather you get stop comparing me to your ex stop comparing your future your current girlfriends to your past it's not it's not cute man do you know how that makes a woman feel that's that's are not that's not a nice thing to do the bible encourages us to be kind comparison is not kindness stop just just stop number 4 <laughs> which is again related to the last one stereotyping <laughs> Christian men should stop stereotyping okay this is how it happens right um because you friend zoned not not because let me say it this way you have grown up with me in the because we go to the same church we have the same circle of friends and we do the same things you friend zoned me right and then you go to a different church right and then you have a different experience at a different church maybe you've gone mission or whatever or you just decided to go to a different church one saturday sunday right and then your experience there blows your mind and the females there just you so much and then when you come back you don't get the same experience or mind blowing <laughs> experience and then all of a sudden you're not attracted to women from your church why that's it here's where you stereotype because now you say oh chicks in our church are this way oh they don't do for us these things which is comparing oh they don't they they don't uh karibisha us for lunch uh, we are not welcomed boy stop stereotyping stop just, just stop ter- stereotyping females one experience you have in this church is not going to be the same experience you have in a different church okay embrace everybody we are all god's children <laughs> right we are all god's children we have different things we are we are we're not men one and the same of course we'll experience something different but stereotyping um uh, means also you're lying to yourself remember point number one. <laughs> just not lying to others you are also lying to yourself just stop okay not cute just stop right this is another thing that irks me wah number five talking to several girls waiting to see who will be the first to catch your beat do you get what i mean like you're talking to to uh jane talk to lucy talk to sally talk to marianne right You're all telling the females the same thing, right? Which by this I think I I I'm, I'm going to mash this points together 5 and 6 where you you're dating ladies in the same group. I mean my friend is my friend is going to tell me your cutting. Huh? Okay? We might have met at different circumstances, we might have met at different events or whatever but say you meet Sally this at all uh because there was ay and then next at all you're going to a different church uh with choir and Lucy is at choir is in choir with you so you're telling Sally and Lucy the same thing thinking Sally and Lucy are not friends knowing full well Sally and Lucy are friends you might not know how close friends they are right but because Ali is not in choir and Lucy is in choir and perhaps I'm not there or you know and you think <laughs> now I'm going to put this out there <sighs> some chicks are dumb yeah they are but that doesn't give you justification to do what you're doing stop stop it Stop talking to different girls and trying to trying to see at you 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 putting a bit 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 several traps setting several traps ah that was what I was looking for setting several traps to see which one is going to fall fast my friend focus vision 
have a vision eh? <laughs> focus on what you want what do you want it is who it can't be all five girls it's one okay you can't just test the waters with all five girls thinking one of them is just gonna fall and then the one you fall what do you don't like and then that's a thing which is jumping from one dating girls in the same pool so you do you realize okay me and you ain't working so you decide to go date my friend here's where i'm touchy feely about it because by the way personally i have no problem with you dating my friend but put, put a gap put a gap in between right a gap maybe would be f- five years a couple of years <laughs> you get because depending on how long you and i have been in a relationship there should be some there will be some intimacy there will be some feelings caught there will be something that happened with the relationship right so when you break up with me i'm going to still be attached and you're also going to still be attached unless you're a psychopath then you jump to my friend who but i wouldn't mind because she is a dope person but i'll still be hurt because now i'm gonna start overthinking things unfortunately i'm just telling you how females think and comment down below if you think i'm lying right females hit the comment section up below if i am fibbing but i'm it's just the truth it doesn't even though you did it for some feelings caught you a string was caught you need to let go of that string before that's just how female mind works psyche works okay i'm gonna start overthinking i'm gonna start um you too you know everything is just gonna come the things that i don't want to see i will see them and it's just made up things in my head don't do that to people okay that's how friendships are destroyed and that's how relationships are destroyed don't do that to people anyway just, just stop okay number seven doing the bare minimum this one is another pet peeve wow doing the bare minimum please now you all know me i'm an adventist so i'm gonna tell you just what i know but christians do this a lot <laughs> from all denominations <laughs> well let me not say all but most excuse me inviting me for a church concert or a church event is not considered as a date here is why hear me out here is why now it depends on the church event right if it's a concert where you're singing at excuse me you're showing off you just you want to come and see you sing which ain't ain't nothing wrong with that you just invite me as your friend don't make it a full blown date where is the uh, the quality time there when do you get to talk it's a concert you're singing you're on stage when when are we talking after the concert when we both need to get home after the church event especially those you know those church events where you are the youth leader or you are something you're doing something right and i'm your guest and there's nothing wrong with that if you invite me I'm like hey my church is having a this and this thing ah uh, so i'm invite you to come i'm like great that's not a date okay a date i think i have described what a date is in this channel before but i shall repeat for the people in the back a date is whereby two people man and woman go out to a restaurant in a public place and eat food and have quality time in which they engage in deep conversation that leads into the other person knowing a little bit more about their date usually the man pays but it is in my opinion that whoever asks for the date shall be the one paying for it that is another video again i'm just saying a date involves restaurant public place and food that's a date okay where money is spent that's a date now these are the things it's just an event where you invited a friend to come over please such events are not considered dates can you stay up be a minimum as in come and ask me out if you can't uh, come and ask me out ask someone <laughs> to point me in your direction you know give you a hint or something anyway 
Christian men do the bare minimum because there's this whole facade that yeah, I'm trying to be humble. Yeah, sure. All the men, my Bible says, all the men that had spouses pursued their spouses. And whether it was gotten for them or not, they pursued their spouses and they continued pursuing their spouses even after marriage. And even if the the roles were reversed, which is one case, by the way, just one. And it is an exception because God has an ultimate plan and everything we do is just fits into the plan of God. Even then, it just started out like that, but nah, the man picked it up, right? Mm. Stop. My point is just stop being the bear being man. You like a girl. By the way, take her out. What's? You don't have to spend millions, please. Please, you don't have to spend millions on a date. There's a lot of places where you can spend a thousand or less on a date. And you've spent time, you've gotten to know her, and by the end of the day, night, evening, morning, breakfast, lunch, supper, whatever time, you decide to have this date, you are a step closer or further to f- make your decision whether you want to pursue this lady or not. That's what dates are for, okay? So men, stop doing the, please just stop doing the bare minimum. It ain't cute. Just stop. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> Seven things Christian men should stop doing. There are a lot more, but I want to hear them from you. Comment down below on things you think I might miss out. Elaborate, please. <laughs> Elaborate. I really want to know. Men, do you think I'm too harsh? Ladies, do you think I'm right? Um, share this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for joining me on my corner of the interwebs. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed.